because I love America and I want them to know this. And you can hear a little bit of his talent right there. He's a talented musician who hopes to teach music in the future. The county school system promises to improve cultural education and training of recognizing bias. Well, only on seven, a snapping turtle laying eggs in an Ashburn family's yard. Check this out. We're not just talking about a few eggs. That's a big turtle, by the way. We're talking dozens of eggs buried in a tree or under that tree right next to the Wade family's patio. The mama in me feels like a little bit of a protection now. So I'm kind of like, if this is where you chose to do this, you got it, girl. I'm going to protect those eggs for you. Well, that's a sweet thing. Now, if all goes as planned, the eggs could hatch in about three months. And while mom has left, wildlife experts say that the hatchlings will instinctively know where to go. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Nature has its way of figuring everything out. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It'll be that's a fun true. little thing to watch for those yeah, kiddos absolutely. around there. Good stuff. Well, we've got a heat wave coming. Heat wave, yeah. A heat wave is technically defined by three days of 90 degrees mm -hmm. or greater. And I think we see that. We're there today. We're, I think we're there tomorrow and Thursday. However, that's it. I do not see it on Friday, but we're still at 89 in D.C. right now. Chantilly, you guys, right at 90 degrees. 88 for Gaithersburg, Martinsburg, and Leonardtown at 86. But the feels-like temperatures, because of the humidity, still into the mid-90s. It is a very hot afternoon, early evening. And because the humidity levels are high, it's going to stay pretty toasty most of the evening. Up to the north, here's all of the storms. These are warned in many areas. We have an enhanced risk, meaning numerous severe storms are possible. And we're continuing to see that right now. The orange shades are the severe thunderstorm warnings. I'm watching it very closely because this overall system is going to slowly slide to the south. There's a tornado watch box up right now. But it should die down before it reaches our area late tonight. Now, tomorrow... The energy is going to be there, and so our storm risk is increased. We're in the enhanced risk from D.C. and areas north. So essentially, 66 and areas farther to the north. And that, again, means numerous severe storms are possible. So let me walk you through your future cast. Dry out there now. Your early evening hours, if you're going out, you want to eat outside, you want to take a bike ride, it's very hot, certainly, but we're dry. You don't have to worry about storms. The time frame I'm going to watch will be later tonight, up to the north, say 10 to midnight, maybe 1 o'clock. You see a little blip north of Hagerstown. Not totally out of the question for some of you folks in the northern zones to at least, if nothing else, see the lightning up to the north. Here's some thunder. Uh, you may get a few showers, but I do not expect the rainfall to work through the D.C. metro. Tomorrow, dry out the door. Plenty of sunshine. Very warm start to the day. Probably mid-70s out the door at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Then as we get into noon, we start to see a few clouds on the increase. We hop on into the afternoon, especially the late afternoon and early evening. Now we start to have some storms generated in the area. Some of these storms could be strong, maybe some severe storms underneath isolated pockets. Our time frame that we're watching, 4 p.m. through about 9 p.m. After that, doesn't mean we couldn't see them before or after, but that's really the heart of where we're going to look at that strong to severe potential. By tomorrow evening, they all die down again. So your hourly forecast, start out in the mid-70s, end up in the 90s, feeling hotter than that with feels like temperatures into the mid-90s, afternoon and evening thunderstorms. It is a weather alert day. We'll repeat it on Thursday. The dynamics are not quite as strong. We're in a marginal risk right now. We'll watch that, but 90s for the next few days. Friday for a change, actually looking delightful, low 80s and the humidity levels are going to be low. With Weather Alert Day tomorrow, Robert, we're going to send it on over to you. All right, Bill, thank you so much. Well, it doesn't get much better than this. The Capitol Hoop Summer League is here. Scott Abraham, live at DeMatha, and he's got a big surprise for us. That's next in sports. Oh, these factory floor mats? They're just as good as WeatherTech. Just as good as WeatherTech. They're just as good as WeatherTech. Just as good. Just as good as WeatherTech. Just as good. Are these factory floor mats just as good as WeatherTech? Yeah! No, no. Nothing comes even close to laser-measured WeatherTech floor liners. They offer the ultimate protection, front, back, and even up the sides. For a full line of premium automotive accessories, order at WeatherTech.com. Everybody on your mark, congregate in Central Park. Don't miss the Tony Award-winning musical landmark, Falsettos. At the Kennedy Center for two weeks only, June 11th through 23rd. Call for tickets today. Alrighty, you guys are almost all set. Great. Sounds good. Honey, while you finish up here, I'll grab us some coffee. Okay. Ready to go? But, uh, getting a Volkswagen.